decently good at swimming when I was really young. So around 13, 14 was actually when I hit my peak. So around that time, I was going into high school and I was thinking to myself, I can stay in Serbia and not swim anymore because it's very, very hard to swim in college. And um, I just thought my only option if I wanted to continue with swimming is to go to the US. Uh, it was definitely tough, um, but I've been pretty determined um, my whole life. Very ready, very a very hard worker, I would say, um, good work ethic. Um, so I just knew that that was the step that I needed to take to get where I want to be in life. Um, and if that meant leaving home, that was fine with me. I'm so happy I came here. I, I'm so happy for the team that I have. I think the, my, my swim team is like my family. If it weren't for them, I, I don't wanna say I don't know if it would be worth it, but they definitely made this place like home. It's hard that when you do something for how many, 13 years, then you're not gonna get to do it anymore. Like it's sad. It's sad and scary. Um, well, in terms of the records, um, it's, it's, it's very nice to be recognized. Although I do hope that somebody breaks them very soon. And I have very high hopes for the freshmen and for anybody on our team. Um, and I remember I, I was a freshman too, and all I wanted to do was break those records. And the one that I broke last year was haunting me for three years, the 50 meter, the 50 yard freestyle. I just hope that people think of me when they actually break my records. Like, it's not something that's not gonna be attainable for them, but something that's, you know, oh, this is what I'm gonna work for. Um, and I really hope that they break them very, very soon because, you know, records are there to be broken, not to stay forever, so. The opportunities that I've been given, main reason is base.